just had a, a Ferrari Testarossa come in. This is a 512. And this young man is Adam Merlin. How you doing, Adam? Hey, Skip. How are you? Doing great. We missed you. It's been a long time. It's been a while. Yeah. Adam, yeah. tell us a little bit about your car, man. So it's a 93 512 TR. So they stopped making the Testarossa in 91. And then 93 to 95, they made the 512 TR. They made far fewer. It's a little faster than a normal Testarossa. Some uh, totally different interior and uh, a little bit uh, more aerodynamic design on the outside. They beefed up the engine and, and trans or the axles in this one, didn't That's they? correct. Yep, yep. And they changed the clutch a little bit. The car, I mean, it's amazing. For a 1993, it's 20, whatever that is, 28, 27 years old. Yeah. The car drives, I mean, just absolutely incredible. I've wanted one of these, specifically a 512TR, since I was, you know, a kid. Michael Jordan had a black one. I had his, the picture in my room. I mean, it was just something. And I fortunately, I found this thing down at Amelia Island and flew down there and... Cool. and bought it so all the original luggage classic case certified i mean this is well thanks a million for bringing it out it's today my we pleasure. really appreciate it who's the who's the young that's my boss that's he's the boss. one that lets me know what i can sell and what i can't that's my <laughs> Fantastic. son Sutton. thank you again all righty at the garage and this is going to be our new facility where we're going to have a coffee shop. What do we have here? How you doing today? I'm doing great. Fantastic. Eric is it? Yes sir. What's your last name Eric? Fritch. Nice to meet you Eric. Tell us a little about your car here. Uh, this started out as a 2001 2.5 RS, mm -hmm. uh, naturally aspirated. Uh, did an 05 STI swap, all the dash, wiring harness, running gear, suspension. Whoa. Um, after we finished that, um, we tuned the engine and then did an aeroseam carbon fiber wide body. Uh, basically it's wanted fantastic to try to looking. How long did it take you? Uh, this has been about a four and a half year project. Wow. Um, yeah, I kind of wanted to make an American version of a 22B. Super. This is, this is killer. Thank you. I bet you get a lot of compliments on it, don't you? It's, it's a lot of fun. Great. You don't see too many like it. Well, thanks a million for bringing this out. It's really, really a super car. Thank you so much. Glad to be here. You take care. All righty. Bye-bye. Boy, it's a beautiful car. It looks fast. <laughs> and it looks like we have a... Um, a BMW Z8 coming in. And I know this fella. A little more. How you doing, Rob? Good, I'm doing fine. Good to see Thanks. you. Good to see you. Good to be here. Well, why don't you tell everyone what you brought us today? This is a 2003 BMW Z8. Uh, they made 5,700 between 2000 and 2003. Um, this color, they made 200. It's wow. Stratus Gray. It's got a um, V8 engine, uh, 5 liter, 400 horsepower. Uh, the car originally sold for 135000 And what was interesting about this BMW is BMW guaranteed uh, parts for the car for 50 years. So no. the car's 17 years old, so I've got a few more years before the parts run out. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well, I know you've got some great cars. This is, this is beautiful. Do well, you thanks. drive it much? Um, we drive it about a thousand miles a year. That's about it. I bought it used from a gentleman in California who drove it a lot, uh, and we've got uh, about 73,000 miles on it. But I'd rather get it out and drive it every weekend than have it parked. Fantastic. So. Thanks a million for bringing this Happy out Happy to do so. Thank you. See you later. Take care, Rob. Oh yeah, here comes something that everybody loves. This is a uh, a 2019 Ford GT. Now this is a full-blown race car, right out of the right out of the hopper. And uh, this car belongs to an old friend of mine, Gary Woolley. Hey, Gary, how you doing? How's it going? Hey, everything's going good. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. I love your car. Why don't you tell everyone some of the some of the 
fantastic features about this car? Well, uh, Ford built it to be a race car. It's a, it's a all carbon fiber structure. Uh, it's a twin turbo six cylinder motor, puts out about 640 horsepower and uh, just a great car to drive. It looks like it. And you drive your cars, I know that. Yeah, I've had this a year. I've got like 2,300 miles on it and I haven't had it on a road trip yet. We're gonna have a rally in Arizona, everything permitting and uh, put about a thousand miles a week then, but I get it out every couple times a week and just drive around. Fantastic. That's why I got it. Now you've got another um, Ford GT, Yeah, I've you? got a 2005 GT 2005. Yeah, yep, I drive it all the time too, so I switch back and forth. Fantastic. Who's with you? This is my wife, Donna. Hi, Donna. How Good you to doing? see you. Good Thanks for coming you. out today. This is this is quite a quite a fun time today. So absolutely, uh, and, and we're able to stay distance, which is kind of nice. Yes. So. Well, I'm glad to get out. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> we're looking forward to things getting back to normal and seeing you out in the wild. Hope so. All right. You take care. Thank Thanks you. again for bringing this beautiful car. Bye bye. You know, not everything that we're doing. Is he gonna back it in? <laughs> I just say not everything here is, is, is a sports car or a race car. Um, this particular vehicle is right-hand drive. How you doing? How are you, sir? Doing good. Let me get that bike mic in there a bit. You'll have, probably have to talk up a little. That's Tell us right. what you brought here today. This is fantastic. Looks like a fire truck. 1995 Honda Acti. K car or K truck, which is a uh, small class of K cars over in Japan, the micro cars basically, and uh, yeah, it's uh, used for a little fire truck or fire uh, truck over there, putting out basically campfires probably. <laughs> and this is a '95. '95, yep. Yeah, it, it has to be 25 years old to import them under the 25 year rule. Wow. And it's a um, a uh, three cylinder, 660 cc, four wheel drive, five speed manual, with about 8,000 miles. Unbelievable. So didn't travel and much. they actually use this as a fire truck. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's probably like more like a support thing on you know, maybe at the outskirts or the like you know the perimeter because it you know ain't gonna put out much. It ain't gonna put out much. <laughs> but it's a fun little ride. It's uh, really smooth on the road. I cruise about 55, 60, no problem. Fantastic. Is fun. that so you can ride in the carpool lane? <laughs> You're right. This is my manager before the quarantine got him. <laughs> That's great. So we got some lights up here for you. What a great looking vehicle. Is this a water tank back here? Uh, it can be. Yes. There is not one back there now, but there's supposed to be a water tank back there, and that's what you would use probably for. for oh, for that's like, incredible. Yeah, yeah. So little tiny tires. This will get in just about anywhere. So there's some lights for you, I think. Yeah. And a, a microphone on top as oh, well. Oh yeah, it works. That's super. Ah. Caffeine and octane rules. <laughs> Thanks a million for Thank bringing you. this. This is really a treat. Everybody here will get a kick out of this. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're quite welcome. Hey, listen to all that horsepower. <laughs> Watch him smoke the tires coming out of here. Now we have another truck coming in. This one's a little larger. This looks like a Silverado. <laughs> go hey guys hey tell us what you got here today this is awesome so it's a 2500 04 Chevy Silverado Duramax um, we when I bought the truck it was literally like nothing just blown up engine in fact I went home popped the radiator cap blew all over my face that was the story of the truck and how it began um, wow. So I took the LB7, tore it all the way down, took the transmission, tore it all the way down. We rebuilt the truck from end to end. Um, right now we are definitely in the nines. We're at six with a 67 in the center valley, and now we've compounded it to 76 over 67, and it's, wow. it's moving. This is an awesome looking vehicle. Yeah, we- uh, How long have you been working on it? Uh, it's about two years in the process. Uh, piece by piece. I think the biggest unfortunate mishap is this been we've had to use a lot of different vendors to try and make it come together. It's a unique build under the hood. I bet. So 
that made it kind of a challenge to, to get everything together quick. Well, hopefully when we're able to get back at regular caffeine and octane, we'll be able to open up the hood and take a look under it and see what all the magic you've done there. Yeah, I think on uh, MJ Diesel Speed Shop, you can go there. Uh, we've, cool. We've been with you guys for about five months or so, so it's definitely going to be on the net. And Super. We'd love to show it off. Well, thanks a million for bringing it out today. It's really an awesome vehicle. I appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Take care. All right. I know this guy. Hey, Bob, how you doing? How are you? Doing great. Bob, your car's got a special story behind it. I know sure this does. car fairly well because uh, we've actually done some of the service on it. Why don't you share with, with everyone how this car came about? Well, this car was my brother's in 1985-86, and unfortunately, he, was, he passed away during his college at the end of his law school. Wow. And uh, he spent all that time in law school, and, and uh, he was graduating from Pitt University, and he passed away, and my sister took this car and stored it for 28 years in her garage. The last time she drove this car probably was in 89, being that the stickers for right. the inspection was right there in Pittsburgh. And then when she passed away, unfortunately, she passed away of cancer. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I got the car three years ago and brought it back down here and brought it to life. And you've been taking it out and showing it to everyone and sharing your I story I love driving this car. It's I, awesome. I Look. drive it up in North Georgia and take it up to the mountains, to the wineries. Everybody looks at it. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, I really appreciate you bringing this out today and oh, sharing pleasure. it with everyone and sharing your story. Thank Good you. Good to see you again. Wow, look at this thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm better now that I see you. Oh, good to see you, man. I wish I could stick my hand in there and shake your hand, but well, this is my Mason, my nephew Mason. Hello Mason, how are you doing? John Hope Bryant. And John is a a a family member to Caffeine and Octane. Um, he was on the first first year we had the show on. He was the first show, I believe. It was the first show. And uh, he's been with us ever since. What a, and and John has such a, a wonderful background. He he gives so much more than than any man I've met. John, tell me a little about your foundation. Well, um, Operation Hope is the largest financial inclusion inclusion nonprofit in America. And up until COVID-19, we were dealing with underserved communities. Uh, my website actually crashed two weeks ago because really the work is now mainstream to most Americans. People watching your show have got too much month at the end of their money. So who helps you? Who's the private banker for the working man, the working woman? Nobody. That's right. Who, who is the Starbucks financial inclusion in your life? Who helps you negotiate with your creditors? Uh, reset your mortgage in times like this. Uh, modify your credit cards. Modify your student's loan for your children. Make sure you can get apply for every government benefit that you qualify for, like the CARE Act. No one's there for you except us. So we do it, Operation Hope, for free, and um, millions and millions of clients. And it's how I give back. I'm a businessman and an entrepreneur, but I collect the power so I can give it away. Fantastic. John, tell everyone the name of your website so they, they can, we have people all over the world that are going to be watching this. Absolutely. So OperationHope.org is my philanthropy, non, my main nonprofit. I created 40 entities. But that's the main nonprofit. You can also download the app uh, because we're digital centric in this show of yours. You can go to app. Uh, it's Hope in Hand on the Apple Store or the Android Store. And they also call our 1 800 number, 888 388 Hope. But OperationHope.org is one stop shopping. And of course, you don't buy a car like this, uh, you know, running a nonprofit. So I'm an entrepreneur and, uh, and I've got uh, the Promise Homes Company and other companies that are also have the philosophy. Well, well, let's have a little well car. What would you bring us? Well, this is a, a, a Bentley um, Flying Spur V8S, at which, as you know very well, the speed is um, 
uh, it's like, um, I guess if you know uh, Mercedes, you would uh, call it an AMG. Uh, it's it's uh, what uh, Bentley has done to provide some, well, to accentuate their history of sports driving. And it's got a little bit more horsepower. It's got uh, more uh, suspension grip. It's got, I mean, it, it's, it's the best of all worlds. I got four doors and I got 200 miles an hour <laughs> if I can find a track. <laughs> That's fantastic. John, thanks a million for bringing it out and, and thanks for being there for, for everyone. Well, thank you for all that you guys do. You are providing some sunshine. You are the rainbow in the midst of this storm for many, many, many people. Give people, adult kids like me, uh, some joy in the middle of all this uh, interesting times we live in. Well, it's great to see you again. One, thanks for coming. One Pleasure love. to meet you. All right. Thank you. Whoa, got some real flash coming in next. This is this is killer. This appears to be nothing on these sheets, but that appears to be a Lincoln. Oh, is that a break? every single show. You don't often see something quite like this. This, this is a lowrider. And look at the paint on this car. Wow. Three wheels. Ha. Fantastic. Look at this. It has to have a chain to hold it to hold the body on. Look at this. Oh, and a Pala coming behind it. Oh, look at the paint on this one. Oh, man. You don't, you don't touch a car up like this. This is, whoa. Look at the wheels on this thing. Fantastic. What's your name? Lalo. Lalo, how are you doing? Doing good, how are you guys doing? Fantastic. Thank you for bringing these cars today. Uh, thanks for Tell me invite. a little bit about your car. Well, this is a, uh, this is a 1964 Chevrolet Impala. Uh, we started building it about two, three years ago, and uh, right now we're just enjoying it, you know. Tell me about the paint. Uh, it's, it's a pattern, uh, basically, the whole car is uh, is uh, flaked out, right? And then from there we started playing with the candies and uh, and the patterns and stuff like that. Yeah. How many layers does it take to do a car like this? That's re that really depends on you. You know, you can you can go as crazy as you want. Yeah. That's phenomenal. I love I love the artwork on it. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks a million for bringing this. Can you raise it up? Yeah, yeah we can. That's great. And look what's behind it. Oh, man. Now, I've seen them in before, but I have not seen a wagon done. This is killer. Got your motor. What year is this car? It's a 1969 Chevy Caprice wagon, Kingswood State. Kingswood Estate. Everything's original except the paint job, wheels, and the airbags. Is that right? Yes, sir. How long have you had it? We, well, we've been having it for maybe about 12 years. 12 years? Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks a million for bringing it out today. Sir. Really appreciate it, guys. Right. Look at this. Oh, that's <laughs> Look at 
Look at the dragon on the back. Now we have something a little more traditional coming in, which is a uh, Mustang convertible. And I know this fella. He's a, he's a good friend and family to Caffeine and Octane. How you doing, Richard? Doing great. How you doing, Skip? Tell everyone how long you've had this car. I bought this car in February of 1983. 83. Yeah. So this is part of your family. It is. It absolutely <laughs> is. My uh, my oldest was uh, just a, a few months old when I got it, and uh, when I'm done with it, it's going to Omaha where he is. Is that right? Yeah. So well, it's it in fantastic. the family. It'll be in the family for a long time. And you drive your car regularly, don't yeah, you? Yeah, pretty much. That's Come super. over, bring it over to your shop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have taken care of a few things on yes, here. Yes, you have. Glad to be job. able to do it. Yeah. It looks like it's running good today. It feels great, yeah. It's doing okay. Fantastic. Yeah. Thanks a million for bringing it out, Richard. You we really bet. appreciate it. Thanks for letting me be part of this. It's really fun. What's that? Thanks for letting me be part of it. It's a lot of fun. Hey, thanks for being part of it. Yeah, always. Just let me know when to... You're good to go. Thank you. Nice note on it. And that's a fuel-injected car, and it has air on it. Really a nice car. How are you doing today? Great. Fantastic. Turn her off. Tell okay. us who you are. Uh, Mike Westland with Ed Boyle's Chrysler. One of our sponsors. Yep. Thank you sponsors. very much. Tell us what you brought out here I today. Brought out, I've got a 19 SRT8 Grand Cherokee all-wheel drive. Uh, this one we got pretty good discount on the web if you check out our website, Ed Boyles Chrysler Jeep.net. I also just got in a Go Mango 50th Anniversary RT numbered vehicle and a wide body Hellcat Charger. Really? Hard to come by. Well, let's see if we can't sell them this weekend. <laughs> That'll work for me. But, <laughs> thanks a million yep, for thanks. bringing it out yep, today. Appreciate it. All okay. right. Ed Boyles is a, is a wonderful company take care of their people, and they've been a great sponsor to our uh, caffeine and octane events over the years. Without them, it's hard to do things like this. Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> how are you doing? I'm good, how about you? Doing great, tell us who you are. Hey Skip, I'm George Stanwick, and uh, glad to be here. Thanks George, tell us what you brought us today. That's a 1964 Lotus Elan, it's one of the first series cars. Um, I think first series cars imported to the U.S. around 300. I understand these are a hoot to drive. I've not driven one of these. They are absolutely a hoot to drive. It's yeah. Like a, like a slot car, huh? Like a slot car, yeah. yeah. I, you know, it's it's Lotus during the 60s, so they were, um, you know, state of the art. What kind for, of engine do they have in them? This has a uh, twin cam, twin cam, Lotus Ford twin cam. Um, it has all independent suspension, four wheel disc brakes. Cool. So for 64, it had all the stuff. Absolutely, great looking car. Yeah. Thanks a million for bringing it out today. We really appreciate you it. You bet. Take care. Good looking car. Good looking. Nice lines on that car. Oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. Look at this thing. That's great. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Doing great. Tell us who you are. I'm Joey Dyer, and this is my son, Zane Dyer. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? Tell us what you brought us today. It's a 2019 Chevy Corvette ZR1, last year of the front engines. Boy, it's kind of tricked out, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's stock. Is it really? Yeah. The wing stock? Yes, sir. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, man, this thing looks awesome. Thank you. So this is a ZR? ZR1. ZR1. Mm -hmm. What's the horsepower on this? Um, 755 stock. 755 stock. Is this car stock? Yes, it's stock. Cool. Man, I bet it's a hoot to drive. It's one of my you like favorites. riding in this car? Yes. Yeah, I bet you do. You have a smile on your face. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks a million for bringing it out today. We I really mean, appreciate you supporting us. Time to get out of the house for a change, isn't it? Now 
now we got a nice looking vintage Mercedes coming in. I don't know how vintage it is, but it appears to be a vintage. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right, sir. How are you? Doing great. What's your Good. name? Davis Brackett. Hello, Davis. Hello, how nice are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as Tell well. Tell us what you brought us today. Yeah, so excited to share with you all my 1999 C43 AMG. Uh, we, we built these from 98 to 2000. Uh, most people think small body, old Mercedes Benz, uh, but it's got a 4.3 liter naturally aspirated V8. Is that right? Yes, sir. This was one of the, the first C-Class V8s, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was. So it was the first C-Class that a V8 was put in. It's matched up with a five-speed automatic transmission, and it's an absolute blast to drive. Oh, I bet. Absolutely. I bet. Did they make any of these in stick shifts? We did not. None? So there were wagons, there were sedans. They said about, I don't know an exact number, roughly 1,200 from 98 to 2,000 showed up to yeah, the US. Yeah, these are real desirable, I know that. Yeah, it's a fun fun design that I don't think, uh, I think it's aged extremely well. It doesn't go out of style. And that's kind of the beauty exactly. behind it. I couldn't tell what year it was when it came in, but it, it's sweet. Thanks a million for bringing it Thank you it so much today. for having me. I appreciate it. Good looking car. C43, yeah. I bet that's a hot rod. It was really a hot rod for its day. Another Ferrari. This is cool. How are you doing today? Good. Hello. Okay. What's your name? Rick. Rick. Nice to meet you, Rick. Yeah. I'm Skip. Let me see. Tell us what you brought out here today. This uh, is this fantastic. This is a uh, Ferrari California. Um, I bought this because it's an easy car. It's a easy car for a non-Ferrari driver to uh, master. Um, but, you know, there was my wife can drive it and everything like that. Uh, Super. Took me 32 years to get the money to buy it, <laughs> and then after that, it took me eight months to find the particular one I wanted. Super, fantastic looking car. And this is a California. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What year is it? 2010. 2010. Mm -hmm. Boy, they never go out of style. I know. Beautiful car. Yeah. Thanks a million for bringing sure. it out and okay. showing us today. Sure. Thank you for your support. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. It looks brand new. Look at this. Nice Porsche. Air cooled. Porga. Mike Tease! How are you doing? Good to see you, Mike. I'm doing good, except I'm struggling with losing my voice. Well, you're talking too much then. That's God's way <laughs> Mike, of telling tell me to shut up. tell everyone what you brought us today. I, uh, it's a 79 Porsche SC. I found it in a collection up in Gainesville with Bob Johnson. And he had it in the back. I the famous there, Bob Johnson. Yeah. I went in the back to buy a Mercury. <laughs> Ended up driving this all. Came home with a Porsche, huh? Yeah. It sounds like Bob Johnson. It's got a brand new motor built by Graham Mer uh, Everett out there by Road Atlanta. Super. And uh, needed paint, needed interior, and it's a brand new car. Fantastic. Yeah, having a good time with it. My wife named it Goldie. How, oh, cool. how creative. And you, you have a website that sponsors, um, tells about all the car shows and events and so forth. Why don't you give it a plug real well, quick? Well, thank you for that. It's um, www.southeastwheelswithanseventswithanse.com. Uh, we list several thousand events in the southeast. Um, we're supported by Caffeine and Octane, uh, uh, Haggerty, um, a, a bunch of other good sponsors. That, um, well, Mike, thanks a million for, for supporting us, and thanks a million for coming out. Caffeine and Octane is my baby. I love it. All right. I've been at it for 12 years. Beautiful car. These are really collector pieces.
welcome. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Doing well, doing What's well. What's your name? My name is Roman Williams. I'm from Porsche Atlanta Perimeter. Porsche Atlanta. Yes, sir. Fantastic. Another great sponsor of Caffeine and Octane. <laughs> yes, sir. Tell me what you brought here today. So today we have the 2020 Tycon Turbo. Tycon Turbo. Is it quick? It's very quick. Very quick. To say quick. the least. <laughs> um, let's put it like this. Zero to 60 in just under three seconds. Woo. Fantastic. Great looking car. Really is. Really is. I envy you. I'd like to be in there driving. It's, it's like a go kart for big kids with all the batteries on the bottom. You can do some very, very fun things that you Fantastic. wouldn't really want to do. Thanks a million for bringing it out of today. Of course, of course. Thank and you. We really appreciate Porsche's sponsorship. Thank you. Thank you guys for having us. Oh, look at this. Oh, we're in for a treat. Oh. Whoa. How What's you going? going on? Good to see you. How are you? Doing great. Tell everybody who you are. So Frank Ball, we are owner of uh, quite a few cars. This is the Bull, 20, uh, 2014 Audi uh, R8. We uh, call it the Bull because you know it's an Italian German car, kind of on the inside. Right. We've got a bunch of cars with us today. We've been doing uh, birthday drive-bys. We call it super super car I heard birthday drive-bys. Fantastic. So we did five kids today. We've got the layout, the schedule, and everything is on today. here five kids today and you're gonna do more uh, we've got more to do today as well and then uh, we've got next weekend we're lined up for like the next eight weeks which is awesome fantastic thanks a million really appreciate it we love now it we're gonna take a look at what you're doing yeah take a look at these guys coming through thanks a million have a great day oh this is eye candy look at this a McLaren thanks a million for bringing this through I appreciate it all right glad to be here Tell us what this is real quick. So this is a 2019 McLaren 720S. Great. Let me see what the next one. Go ahead and roll through. Thank you. And now we got a Porsche coming behind it. And they they take these cars and do drive-bys for kids' birthdays because they, they can't get out and have their birthday parties. Watch it, watch it. Don't want you to get run over. <laughs> Look at this. Fantastic. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Whoa, this is pretty. Thank you much for coming out. And this is all a rolling birthday party. Thank you. Oh, look at this. Beautiful Jag. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, download us on our um, various apps and go to the, uh, the app store. And we're, we're live, in, live streaming this, as you know, so you can pick us up on all of our different apps. Follow us also on the social media channels. Porsche, nice looking Corvette. Hopefully, if this goes well, we'll be able to do more of these as, uh, as time goes on until we're actually able to get back in and, and do the regular caffeine and octane shows. We can stay safe and distance doing this. There's a real neat car coming in. Some of you that have been out to caffeine and octane have actually seen this car, but for the, those of you who are seeing it for the first time, this is really a special car. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Great, tell everybody who you are. Hi, I'm Gray Bishop. I'm uh, here in the 06 Phantom. She's uh, bulletproof, solid, up top, S bottom. Say that nice and slow so they can hear you. Okay, excuse me. Hi, I'm Gray Bishop. We're in the 06 Rolls-Royce Phantom. She's uh, solid bulletproof, tires, windows, and doors. Um, she, so this is a bulletproof vehicle. It's a bulletproof vehicle. That's amazing. Yes, sir. And what year is it? The 06. 06. How long have you had this? I've had this for eight years. My father passed away and left me this vehicle. Oh, man. I'm sorry to hear he passed, but... Thank you. Wow. An incredible car. Thank you. Thanks for bringing it out. Thank you for really having me. really appreciate it. it. Oh, here comes a beautiful, beautiful car. I've seen this at Caffeine and Octane previously, and um, I've known Stan for quite some time. He's got some of the some of the prettiest cars you'll ever see. This is a uh, Cadillac Sedanet, and it's about six blocks long. Hello, Stan. Hey. How are you here. doing? I'm doing great. How Tell everybody you? who you are. Come on. I'm Stan Olstein. This Turned is a 1941 time. Cadillac Sedanette. Got a 500 cubic inch uh, Cadillac engine and transmission in it. 
400 plus horsepower, full power seats, air conditioning, windows, everything. Beautiful car. Thank you. Stan, to Dan, how long is this car? <laughs> about 18, 19 feet, isn't it? About 18, yeah. 18 feet. Yeah. Thanks a million for bringing it out, Stan. We really appreciate it. Take care. You have a great day. You too. Look at the lines on that car. Look, look at the rear window. That is just killer. Z car. 240Z. What year is this car? 1973. 73. I actually bought one of these myself, brand new, in 72. Loved it. Wow. I wish I'd never gotten rid of it. Tell everybody who you are. I'm Rob Estel. This is my 1973 240Z and my lovely wife, Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. Thanks for coming out. I've had the car for 43 years. Is that right? It's original color. It has been repainted. And then uh, I've had her for 38 years. So <laughs> then the kids came along. So the Z went in the garage, didn't get driven a whole lot. Well, at least you kept yours. They absolutely. <laughs> well, all of my buddies told me that I might be in trouble. Yeah. As in a rear end whooping if I sold it. Absolutely. So, Thanks a million for bringing it out. We yeah, really absolutely. appreciate it. Thank you. You guys take you. care. You take care. Follow us on our uh, social media channels. Um, go to caffeineandoctane.com, uh, Caffeine and Octane on Facebook. Now, this, is, this is a beautiful car here. Look at the color of this thing, it sparkles. How are you doing today? I'm good, how are you doing? Doing great. Tell us what you brought us today. Uh, we brought a uh, 2017 NSX. It's, uh, as you might have noticed from the front and from some other small cosmetic changes, it's been updated to 2019 spec. No horsepower changes, nothing else. Transmissions remapped, front fender, uh, you know, change on the clip up there, but everything else is uh, completely stock. I bet it's a hoot to drive, isn't it's a, it? It's a lot of fun. It's uh, it's tough to have a hard, you know, bad day get in this thing. It's almost 600 horsepower, and anything that you thought of that was a bad day goes away. Kind of makes all this pandemic thing go away when you get behind the wheel, doesn't it? Yeah, it helps you forget about it for a second anyways. Fantastic. It's good to thanks be out for here bringing today. it out for us today. Yeah, thanks for having us. We really us. appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Nice lines, nice note. Whoa, like her. Pull up a little more. There you go. How are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing great. Fantastic. What's your name? Chris Sesco. Hello, Chris. Tell us what you brought us. So I'm driving a 2002 second generation Viper GTS. It's the uh, number 181 of the last 360. They were made in 02, and they're red with white stripes. Fantastic, great looking car. Thank you. Tell me how much fun is this to drive? <laughs> Too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Brings a kid out in you, oh, doesn't it? Oh, it does, it does. I'll oh, tell you fantastic. what, there's a lot of great cars out there, but nothing, oh boy. nothing beats and, you. And we can't thank you enough for, for doing this today. It kind of opens things up for everyone. When we can't get together in a big group, yeah. at least this is a this is a great opportunity. No, Thanks again I'm for bringing can, it. I'm glad we can help you and participate. Really appreciate so, it. All right, thanks. You take care. Uh, you too. Safe driving, man. And we're going to have this uh, event on our social media. So in the future, you'll be able to go in and revisit it if you'd like. Look at this thing. Whoa. I love it. <laughs> How are you today? I'm doing fantastic. What's your name? I'm Terry. Hello, Terry. What's your last name? Terry Carroll. Terry Carroll. Beautiful car. Thank you. Beautiful car. And I want to drive it. <laughs> you can drive it anytime. It's a 2017. It's a uh, GTC ACR with the uh, Supreme Aero package. You yeah, see, see there. that. That's awesome. And the other unique thing is the color. Yeah. It is one of one from the factory, and really? it's called Violet. One of one. So you special ordered this car? It actually, it's one of the options you could have ordered a color. This just happens to be the one that grabbed it. They only do one of one of these special colors. Is that right? That's right. That's fantastic. So How the, long have you had it? I have had it for about a year now. 
So How long are you going to keep it? I'm going to keep it a while. I bet you do. This is my sixth one. So is I it think, really? I think I'm dedicated to the Dodge Viper for a while. It sounds like it. That's right. Thanks a million for coming out today, and, and I love it. And it's great to see the ladies out here today. That's right. That's Fantastic. right. We are car people, too. You bet. Thank you. Thank you. Stay well. Safe driving. Listen to that. This is great. Man, we've got some neat, neat supercars here today. Another. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing? Doing great. Tell us who you are. My name is Wayne Carroll, and this is our 2014 GTS Dodge Viper. And it's one of the ones just when Dodge was switching and Ferrari got involved and did all the stitching and detail inside. And that's the one reason we're not getting rid of this baby. We're Are you keep related to the lady in front? That is my wife. She doesn't let me drive the pink car. Well, I can understand that, but <laughs> boy, she's got a nice car. It's amazing. Yeah. It is absolutely amazing. Well, super. Thanks a million for bringing this out. Oh, and heck yeah. You really guys have been phenomenal. It. We'll, we'll be sure to take care of you guys as a club. It's Fantastic. Beautiful. And drive safe. You bet. Thank you. Good to see you. Another great note on a car. Listen to the sound on that thing. And everyone, don't forget, check us out on the social media. You can get us at Facebook. Um, Caffeine Octane Facebook and also at um, CaffeineOctane.com. Can you pull him up a little more? Pull up a little more. There you go. How are you doing today? Doing well. How are y'all doing? Doing Thanks great. For us. Turned off for a second. There we go. What's your name? Rahul Singh. I'm with Jim Ellis Maserati. Oh, great. Well, you brought us a beautiful car and thank you. Jim Ellis for being such a wonderful sponsor and support Caffeine and Octane. We really appreciate it. Hey, we appreciate you having us. It's always fun. So, so somebody can come over and buy this from Jim oh, Ellis. Oh yeah, Is that absolutely. Right? This one's for sale. Fantastic. Yep. Well, thanks a million for bringing it out. We really appreciate it. Of course, it. yeah. It's one of 45 in the country, so oh, it's is a that very right? limited edition. It's about the closest thing to a Ferrari SUV you can get, the Maserati Levante Trofeo. Unbelievable. Good looking car. All right, yeah, that's what we do it for. <laughs> thanks All again, right. man. Thank appreciate you. it. Oh, I know this little car. This next car is one of my my favorite, favorite, favorite. Oh yeah. All right. Check out what's coming in now. This is a uh, this is a mini panel van. And if you'll notice, um, Classic Auto Smith is on the side of it, and it also has Coffee and Octane on it. This is a good friend of mine, one of my closest friends. Tell everybody who you are. Hi, my name's Richard. I want to thank you for doing this, Skip. This means my wife doesn't have to shoot me today. I got out of the house. Thank you. This is the first time in a while, isn't it? The first time I've been allowed out. Fantastic. Richard, how long have you had this? Uh, I've had this about four years. This was originally, it's a 69 Mini panel van built by Mars, originally in the British Army. It was, no. Yeah, it was. It was green. It was right-hand drive. Fellow out in Seattle restored it, made it into a left-hand drive car. Uh, has all of 40 horsepower. It, it'll keep up with those Vipers, right? Yeah, 10 inch wheels and uh, 40 <laughs> horsepower. <laughs> this is fantastic. And I love what you've done with the surfboard. And, uh, Richard's been a good friend to Caffeine and Octane and to Classic Autosmith. And Richard comes in and actually helps us in our office um, uh, when, before all of this took place, this pandemic. But Richard, thanks a million for coming out. I really appreciate it. And tell Kathy I thank her yeah. for thank you for you doing out. this. Thank Bruce for doing this. Yes, super. Oh, it started. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, this is another good friend. This is a beautiful, beautiful Mercedes. Hello, Sam. Hey, How you doing? Doing good. How about you? Doing great. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Ruben. Hello, Ruben. This Good to see you. Our 1970 Mercedes 300 SCL 3.5. Beautiful color. Thank you. It's sea green. Sea green. Now, you all have a 
a large collection of Mercedes, from what I understand. Yes. About 80 cars. 80, yeah. Sam's been a, been a good friend to me and to Kathy and Octane. I've known Sam for probably 30 years, close to 30 years. Um, and he is a real car guy. He's got some really rare stuff. And uh, I can't thank you enough for, for bringing this out. Because this is- Anytime. I Anytime. appreciate it. Nice to meet you again. Nice, nice thank you. you. Thanks, guys. I also recognize this next car. Um, this one's pretty special to me. Um, and uh, you'll see why in just a moment. Come on, pull on up. This. Hello. Hello. And introduce yourself. My name is Wanda Smith. I've got a 1963 Daimler. It is a 2.5 V8. It was built by Jaguar on a Mark II body. Fantastic. It leaks, it smells, and it drips, and I love it. It is a <laughs> British car. Well, I, I happen to know this car, and I, I know the young lady behind the wheel. This is my wife of 40 years, and this is her baby. Um, besides her dogs, this is her favorite thing. I come in way down the list. <laughs> yes, <you laughs> but do. this, is, this is a Daimler, and this is um, a car that was built by Jaguar. Um, and they were not brought into the United States because Mercedes and Jaguar uh, agreed not to use the name Daimler in this country. The top of the line of one of these in this country would have been called a Vandenpla. Wanda, how long have you had this? Several years now, enjoy it, I drive it, I love it. I know you do. Thanks, darling, for bringing it in. I really appreciate it. Thank you. See you later. All right. What? Hit the button. Well, it's a British take car. a break. <laughs> Let's take a break. It's a British car. It's a British car. It, it quit. And this car has probably been one of the most dependable cars that, that we've ever owned, and we've had lots of British cars. You want me to s step in there and see if I can do something? See if I got luck. I even get to drive one maybe today. Caffeine and Octane at the garage. And uh, we're, this is our first event where we're doing a virtually a, a car show as it rolls through. That way we can stay socially distanced um, and, uh, and still be able to have some fun. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook. Also at uh, uh, caffeineandoctane.com. Look at this, this is a beautiful car. How you doing? Good. Fantastic. This is a beautiful car. This is one of my favorite cars at all time. Thank you. Um, this is a 65, right? Yes, sir. Tell us about it. It's a 65 Grand Sport. Had it since 16 years old, but How it's long? not 16. And First car You're a little older 16. than 17 now. So. <laughs> Just a little. But uh, not many original car parts on this thing because I had to redo the whole thing. But yeah, but it's, uh, it's all number matching concourse except for the bags and the rims. Started out, it started life as a Grand Sport, which it is did. the, it's, the, it's the a, top of the line. This is a number matching car. These had huge horsepower at the time. Uh, they were very fast and they were the banker's hot rod Banker's at the time. hot rod. CTSV before the CSTV. Yeah, <laughs> it, these are beautiful. And they have the, um, the clamshell headlights on it, which yes, is sir. a wonderful feature. Man, did a great job on it. Thank you. Thanks for bringing it out. We really appreciate it. Appreciate you. Thank you.
Boy, sounds good. Look at this thing. You know, that's still, it has such style even today. Look at that. Boy, love it. Uh, this looks fast. Oh boy. Tell us what you got. Hey, Skip. How you doing? This is a 2020 Chevrolet Corvette C8. This is the, the newest thing. Yeah, let me turn the car off. There we go. Please. Newest one, 2020 Z51 package, currently the fastest C8 in the world. Did a quarter mile, just under 140 miles per hour at 10.495. What's the zero to 60 in this car? Gosh, I, in its current configuration, that's classified. <laughs> With the modified modifications on it, it's a, I don't know stock, but it's not stock right now. This is a Sissio performance car. Nathan Sissio is a member of ours at the driving club at Road Atlanta, so he tracks his cars with us. Ah. Well, this is one of his development cars. Like so he's, he's right? doing a lot of work on it, yeah. You see the well, lower- Tell us a bit about your driving club. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, we started it two years ago out at Road Atlanta. It's a private membership club. We have private member days on the track, Road Atlanta, 50th year anniversary for Road Atlanta. One of the best in the world, and we get to enjoy it privately. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. So you see did the, you bring, is this the only car you brought or did you bring some others this is, today? This is the only one. There's a lot of modifications to it. It's lowered in the front uh, where they don't come stock like that. So Sissio did some stuff like that. Um, new axles, new wheels, a lot of stuff. Now these, these cars had some, right out of the factory, had some really unique features to them. I mean, it raises itself. Um, right. The, the, the lift kit in the front axle is probably on 90% of these cars. There's an issue with it though, then you can't then lower the car down to improve the stance. Really? So this car's in stance is improved. Sissio, uh, Sissio Performance uh, has a kit, I think the only one in the country that we're aware of that gives it the stance that it has right now. It looks so, fantastic. Yeah, a lot of our members are going to him for that. You know, most people have not even seen this car yet. I mean, right. th these cars, because they, they stopped production because right. of the, the flu. And um, this one's about to go away for a twin turbo kit is that right? Monday, yeah. So you won't see this particular Ooh, one for a bit, yeah. That'll make it screaming fast. Upgraded axles, upgraded uh, yeah, clutch, upgraded that, turbos. Yeah. Oh, super. Well, thanks a million for bringing this out. I bet everybody around here is wanting to get eyes on it, aren't they? They are. They are. <laughs> thanks to you, they are now. <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks, Kip. Take care. Listen, that's nice. Great looking car. Air-cooled Porsche. How are you doing today? Hey, man. How are you, Chip? Doing great. That's doing good. great. Tell us who you are. My name is Gary Beck. Gary Beck. Yeah, Gary. Tell us about your car. It's an 87 Carrera Targa. It's a driver. Got 150,000 miles on it. And you drive it? Yeah, I do. It's these cars are going up in value like crazy. They are. Yeah. They are. They're hanging in there. The targets don't seem to get quite as much as the uh, coupes do, but they will. That'll change. Yeah. It's, it, but it's a fun car. It's fun to ride mm -hmm. around, except for right, right, right now. I was baking out there with the black interior. Oh, I bet. So, <laughs> so anyhow, I hope but, you didn't have to sit out there very, very long. Well, I had, I had my shade. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> on my head. So well, it's was, a beautiful car. I Thanks a million, cool. man, for bringing it out. We All appreciate right. it. Okay, buddy. Thanks you take care. Lot. Me and you both. Hey everyone, please remember to check us out on our social media uh, through Caffeine and Octane on Facebook, um, caffeineandoctane.com. How are you doing today? Good, good. I love the lines on this car. This, these are great. Thank you. Tell us what you brought us. Uh, 85 uh, BMW M635 Euro version. That, uh, Restored about two years ago. So Is that right? How long have you had it? I've had it about 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. Great looking car. Love the wheels. Thank you. Love the wheels when they were new. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is super. Well, thank you very much for bringing it out. We really appreciate it's it. It's a pleasure. It's good to be here. Thank you. Are you getting to see many nice things here? Lots of nice cars. <laughs> Thanks a million. Thank you. Take care. Oh yeah, FJ40, love these things.
This one's nice. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing great. What's your name? Shane. Shane, how you doing? I'm great. Tell us what year this is, Shane. 1974. 74. It looks brand new. Thank you. How long have you had it? Since 84. Oh, really? Yep. Wow. About 15 years ago, we completely took it apart and rebuilt it from the ground up. Did you find any issues in it? Because I know these had a they subject bad rust a little issue. rust. Yeah, they? we had to buy a new metal out of Cool Cruisers out of Texas and replace the metal in the tub uh, around the back where they rust out and some in the floor. So Engine still stock? <laughs> it's the original engine, but it's had a lot done to it. Oh, yeah. is that right? Yeah. Well, this is a great looking vehicle. Great well, stance you. on it. Thank Thanks you. a million for bringing it out for us today. Yes, sir. Good to see you. Man, that thing looks brand new. Great looking wheels. And now we have a snake coming in. Cobra. These cars never go out of style. Come on up a little more. There you go. How are you doing? Great, how are you? Doing great. Turned off for a second. What's your name? Spencer Kibo. Hello, Spencer. Tell us what you brought us today. It's 2007 GT500. GT500. The 2.8 liter Kenny Bell underneath the hood. 2.8 Kenny Bell, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah, I bet. Well, how much horsepower are you pulling on this? Uh, right now, probably upper 500s, but it's been dynoed at 704. Is that right? Wow. Looks like a fun car to drive. How long you had it? Uh, I've had it for eight months, so it's been a lot of fun. And you still have your license. I still got my license. No <laughs> tickets. I just jinxed myself, but no tickets. You know, <laughs> no, that's all right. You won't. You brought it out for a good reason today. Thanks a million, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah. Everybody's going to love this car. This, this is one of the most amazing cars you'll ever see. This is a good friend of mine. This is hey, yep. hey, this is Rob Briggs, and Rob has brought us a 1960 Eldorado Biritz, and it is an unbelievable car. <laughs> Tell us about it, Rob. Well, it's uh, the first year after they started cutting the uh, rear fence down, so it's 1960, and it's in a kind of a rare color. Color this heather, this sort of bluish purple color heather with a white leather and it's a bucket seat car, which is actually kind of rare. You would have thought a convertible back in the day, it'd all be bucket seat, but most of these large classic cars- Do you know how many bucket seat, seat cars they built? I think two or 300, but I'm not exactly sure, but not too many. Not many at all. Yeah. This is a very so, rare color. The paint code, actually, I remember, is called is 99. 99. And what most yeah. people don't know about this car is underneath the hood, it not only has a big engine, but it's a tri-power. It has three deuces on this car. Yep, it, 390 tri-power. 390 tri-power. So this, you had to have a lot of engine to pull a car this yeah, size. Yeah, that's right. And, and you know, uh, you take it out on the highway today, I swear it, uh, it's smoother than uh, a lot of modern it just, cars. It just, it's just because it's so big. You know, absolutely. it just goes right over potholes and everything else. It's just, uh, it's been a great car. And uh, it's, not, it's the kind of car you're not afraid to drive at, at speed or maybe even a, a slightly a, a it, more than the speed limit. It it's has cool. style. It does, yeah, yeah. The back of this, yeah. back here where the where the convertible top is, this is called a parade boot, and this is all fiberglass, bolts yeah. together, and it's it was designed so you can actually sit up on the back of the car mm -hmm. for parades. Yeah, hello. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rob, I can't so. thank you enough for bringing this out. Absolutely. One of the neat things, if your camera on the front picks it up, if you look at the grill on the front, as Rob pulls out, it has another grill on the back end. Yeah, it's got matching front and rear grills and lots of individual pieces. Oh, oh lots, lots of pieces. Of pieces Hundreds. <laughs> yeah, Skip, nice talking to you. Good seeing you, Rob. Thanks a million. That is a lot of car. And there's the other grill on the back side. Oh, here we go. Hurst O's, yeah. How are you doing today? Pretty good, how are you? I'm doing great, what's your name? Steve Callis. Hello Steve. Well, tell us what you brought out, this is a hoot. This is a local car, it's a 74 Hurst O's Cutlass, bought new in Mableton, Georgia. Is that right? I'm the second owner, uh, it's got 75,000 original miles on it. 
um, 12 year old restoration on it. Um, I drive it a lot. Um, now I've seen you at caffeine and octane in it. This yep. is a, it, cause it car stands out. It has, it does. It has style to it. It does. I like different. So I've, all the cars I have are different. Everything. Any unique options on this one? Cause they had a couple of swivel bucket that's seats. That's what I thought. So open the door up. I want everybody to, can you come over here with the camera real quick? I want you to see this. Cause this is, this is really a killer feature. Take a look at that. And, and they advertised that seat because it was a, a modesty thing for women to be able to get in and out of yeah, a bucket seat car. they're wearing a dress. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks a million for bringing this no out. Problem. Really no appreciate problem. it. Thanks for having us. And this is, this is when um, they were, had a joint venture with uh, Oldsmobile and Hearst and they put her shifters in these cars. Thus, the Hearst O's. Now, this is a big, big vehicle. Let me get my mic back a little. How you doing today? Good morning, how are you? Good to see you. Good What's your you. name? John Rich. Hello, John. Now this, this doesn't look like my dually. This is not actually a dually. This is a 1500, uh, 1500 made to look like a dually. Is that right? Yeah, it's got the 16 inch wide wheels on the back with the, you know, it's been Frankenstein with the dually fenders and the It's got a nice stance to it too. Yeah. yeah. Big block 454 in it. Is that right? Yeah. So it'll haul the mail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How long have you had this? Oh, uh, actually about a week. No kidding. I traded one of my old trucks for it. Is that right? Yeah. Well, I can't thank you enough for bringing it out. I had not seen it before and it's, uh, yeah, it, well, you'll see it again because it'll be it'll be at the shows when we get back up and rolling. Fantastic! So, Thanks again for bringing it yes, out. Sir. We really appreciate it. Yes, sir. I had that happen on my wife's uh, Daimler a while ago, and it took a second for it to start. Go to Facebook, Caffeine Noctane Facebook, and also CaffeineNoctane.com. How you doing? Good. Tell everybody who you are. Hey, I'm Robert Burris from Villarica, Georgia. I love your, I love your truck, man. Thank you. This is great. How long you had it? That's from about four and a half years. Yeah. Tell everybody what it is. It's a 62 Chevrolet pickup, C10, flip front end, all disc brakes. Doesn't have the six on her anymore. Oh, I bet it does. You got a little small you know, block these, in there. Thing. These are really hot right now. Yeah. This, this body style is real big. Is knocking, Sell it every day if I need it. Knocking the doors constantly. down. Yeah. 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 You drive it, somebody will try and buy it. Yeah. Every day. <laughs> well, thanks a million for hey, bringing man, it out. Appreciate I appreciate it. it. Good being. to see you. Love the paint on that. It's got a nice patina to it, flattened out. A little wakeboard in the back. Listen to it. That's a thumper. Oh, this is a good looking car. Perfect. How you doing today? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you? Great. What's your name? Uh, my name is Mauricio. Hey, my name is Mauricio. Turn it off for a second. Oh, is it no, turn, turn on the car? car? Yeah. Got it. That way, I can, that way we can hear you. There you go. Nice, nice Z. Thank you so much. It's yeah. a 2016 Sport Tech um, tuned up. This one, normally they push 320, this one pushes 380. Whoa. Yeah. So it runs a little fast. I bet. Yeah. How long you had it? 
How, uh, I had it since uh, last year in July, and um, I love it ever since. I've taken it to a bunch of rallies throughout Georgia, and I've gone from like here all the way up to Tennessee and back and stuff like that. And um, I'm planning to go to ZCon. Oh, well, great! For sure. Thanks a million for bringing it out. Of course, we really thank you appreciate so much. It. And now we're going to have uh, something rather special. Um, moving that out of the way. Everyone, we figured we're coming to the end now that we might do something a little special. So you're going to see uh, a beautiful set of Rolls Royces together. And uh, what, a, what a nice shot. I love this. <laughs> I love this. Look at this. Boy, is this a his and hers? Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, tell us who you are. I'm Jeff, and this is the, uh, the 04 Phantom, and that's the 13 Ghost. These were the first two models Rolls-Royce built after BMW bought the company uh, in late 90s. And so, so the power plant in it? They both have the BMW V12, but the displacement is the Rolls, the traditional Rolls 6.75 liter. This one's naturally aspirated, that one's twin turbo. Uh, the Phantom has about 460 horse and the Ghost has about 560 horse. Whoa, that's uh, a lot of fun. And what I like seeing them together is you always think that's a big car, but then when you see it next to this one, it's, it's like, you know, this thing is Fantastic. huge. <laughs> and what everybody should know that this man right here is actually part of the family of Caffeine and Octane and uh, is very, very involved in what we're gonna be doing here at Caffeine and Octane at the garage. Um, and we can't thank you enough for, oh, for everything that you've done. We're having fun and with it. Beautiful cars, thank man. You. Beautiful cars. Thank you. Um, let's go over and, and meet his, his, his better half. And what is your name? Maria. Maria. Maria, you have a beautiful car here. I think I like driving this one a little better than that because this is twin turbo, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, this would be fun. Look at the wood in this car. It's magnificent. Boy, this looks like fun. And now that we're closing here at the end, I'd like to uh, ask Bruce Fifke to come out and, and join us. Bruce is, uh, he is the man behind Caffeine right. and Octane. And Bruce, thank you very much for, uh, Skip, for doing this. I can't thank you enough for helping us out today. You know, Caffeine and Octane is not Caffeine and Octane without you there. Well, so, thank you, I appreciate uh, that. Our goal was to step up today what has been virtual car shows. We know that our people have been dying to get back out there. And unfortunately, you know, we want to keep people safe. So we worked hard to come up with a format that kept people safe, but still got people out of the house and were able to show off some cars. So Fantastic. I think it worked out great. And I, I'd like to do one other thing. Yeah. Can we take that camera and turn it that way? Yes. Because I want you to see the people that are behind this. This is, this is not a staff of 50 people here. This is, this is the group that put this on today and brought it out to you, and I can't thank you guys enough. I know you've, you know, this has been tricky. <laughs> and you look around in this building, this is the home, or the new home, of Caffeine and Octane at the garage. And this is going to be a coffee shop, restaurant, coffee bar, beer and wine, food, and an event facility. Um, so we'd like to... In the next few months, this will be built out, and we'd like to invite each and every one of you to come by and join us. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we hope to do this again. Let us know what you liked about it, what you didn't like, and uh, we'll get better next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks.